the Anglicans in Otbrook and the Methodists in Barrowash so that we can work together for caring uh, for people in this community, not only... And that's just about it from Contact for this week. However, before we go, in our programme broadcast on the 4th of June on female ordination, we unintentionally but incorrectly attributed quotes to the Bishop of London concerning the uncleanness of women. These quotes were not in fact made by the Bishop and we regret any embarrassment caused. So it's goodbye for this week and we leave you with the girls of Ockbrook Girls School Choir. I'm Bob Hall and here are the latest news headlines this Wednesday morning. In the past hour, police in Staffordshire have announced that a man has now been charged with the murder of Stoke-on-Trent choir girl Justine Harley. The man who hasn't been named will appear before local magistrates later this morning. Justine's body was found in the basement of Tunstall Methodist Church at the weekend. She'd been strangled. It's been a bad night for agreement between common market countries. Earlier this morning, plans to bring cheaper airfares to the continent failed when transport ministers meeting in Luxembourg became bogged down in the row between Spain and Britain over the future of Gibraltar. And Mrs. Thatcher didn't fare any better in Brussels. The meeting of national leaders broke up in disarray uh, after British suggestions for changes in European spending policy were thrown out by every other member nation. Church of England spokesman this morning said they weren't able to confirm reports on ITN's news at 10 last night that Terry Waite is being held in Iran. The church says it's just one of a series of reports on the missing envoy since he disappeared in the Lebanon in January. Well, the weathermen say that statistics now prove that June was the dullest month since records began. July, though, looks as though it's getting off to a rather better start. Dry and bright weather expected later today, temperatures reaching 20 Celsius. That's a high of 68 Fahrenheit. Well, that's it from the Central Newsroom. Our next bulletin is at 1.20. So from me to you, it's a very good morning, or is it a very good night? Bye-bye.